as more mask mandates lift and people get vaccinated, life is beginning to return to normal, but there is a lot of confusion as we leave some of the COVID-19 restrictions in the past or not. Yes, 10 News reporter McKinley Strother is live in Roanoke. So McKinley, what's the question a lot of people are left with? Lindsay, there certainly are a lot of questions, aren't there? Because there are a lot of changes. One of the biggest questions, whether a business can ask for proof of your vaccination by requesting to see your vaccine card. And is that legal? It's legal for anyone to ask you any questions sans it being a derogatory comment towards you. So basically, it's up to you. I'm not at all opposed to being asked for proof of vaccination. It's a business, and if that's what they require for me to give, then I'm going to give it to them. Attorney Sarah Luger says there are some stipulations businesses need to keep in mind if they're requiring customers be vaccinated. As long as it's not on uh, discriminatory basis, which the law has recognized classically, and as of right now, there isn't a law that recognizes that you can discriminate uh, or not discriminate premised on not being vaccinated. Janet and Richard Burrow are both vaccinated and say asking actually makes them more comfortable. If I'm in a restaurant and I choose to eat inside, I'd like to know that those that are in there around me are also vaccinated, as well as the workers. Your vaccine card is part of your medical record, so is asking violating HIPAA? HIPAA is with respect to medical providers. Again, Attorney Luger says an everyday person asking questions doesn't violate anything. The governor's team tells me they will not require a vaccine passport, if you will, at the state level, but businesses are free to ask for proof of vaccination. It's right here. Yeah. <laughs> why, do you, why do you carry it with you? Because um, I feel like right now, especially during the pandemic, people want to feel safe. So this card guarantees that I'm safe. Not everyone opted out of receiving that vaccine simply because they didn't want it. Some people chose not to get it because of their religion or their disability. Another attorney I talked to today wants to remind businesses that as they make decisions surrounding whether or not they will request vaccine proof to remember that so that they're not discriminating against certain groups. We're live tonight in Roanoke. I'm McKinley Struther, 10 News, working for you. We also reached out to the governor's office about what they will do for those who wish to wear a mask once the state of emergency expires. And that's because it's technically illegal for you to wear a mask in public without an order. Now, a spokesperson says they are still working on it, but will make sure if you want to wear one, you can.